We just bought collectively over the past week uh, like eighteen hundred dollars worth of weed. And this month, you bought an ounce. <laughs> this motherfucker right here went and bought another ounce I of love banana. The flavor, dog. What is all this? Shit? Why is it it's, different? I don't know. This is, it's all banana. It is pretty fucking fire. Smell that shit. It smells good. I'm rolling it. I told you I was bringing weed. Who needs a haircut when you got haircut banana kush? Shave your head right now. Brandy would kill me. All right, we're rolling. I can't believe I sent you the fucking shit and you didn't even listen to it, bro. This is the hottest. This is the hottest shit to come out in a minute. Shit's hot. It's so hot. It's so good. It's so fucking good. I fuck with it so hard. People think I'm joking. I think it's like the hottest shit. Whoo, she's hot, son. I'm telling you. I'm not even mad. All these YouTubers can do fucking rap songs. Why can't she? Everybody's mad. Like, who the fuck does she think she is trying to rap? Everybody's rapping. She crushed it. I'm fucking team catching me outside right now. Yeah, dude. Catch me in the studio. Danielle, holler at us. We'll get you hooked up with some beats. Thank but data Kush is a little sleepy. Yeah, a little. It's just it's an indica, but it's so awakening. Yeah, why did we there. smoke that in the morning? We need to stop at the rave. <laughs> no, <laughs> we need you to stop up. fucking being a fangirl over all weed. <sighs> Yeah, dog. You going to beach after this? Fuck yeah, I'm always at the beach, man. <laughs> Did you see Cody yet? Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Abigail? What's up, Daddy? I'm white, though, for it. Just got a little... Got a little on my hair. No, it's everywhere. Fly Fridays. Fly Fridays. Uh, Bushaka. Right here. She wants it, like... She wants it, not a small bit. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> There's two skulls in there. Make I don't think I don't think she knows that. She just likes the fire. She said. Make her get the skulls. I'm gonna talk to her. It's fine. Ask her if it's a uh, Game of Thrones reference. Fire and ice. Oh, you're wearing an ultra vest? I'm surprised. That's what I said. One of your fear god man's getting here. You're fucking. I don't even know what. I don't even know what your Rihanna fucking crawlers. <laughs> I don't know, after Ern's wedding and shit. Wedding? Mm -hmm. September 16th, like dog. Two weeks. two weeks. Teddy's marrying yeah, us. I'm the priest. He's the priest. Or the minister. Two weeks? Yeah. yeah. Where at? Where's it at? New York. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know they made well, I wanted to. I told you Cody wins today. Did y'all plan this? Check that it's out. Like, since you've been back, it's like that beer at Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really? Um, but look at Matt Sager. Yeah. I came, I walked to work like this. <laughs> Funny, I cracked it open for a second. He wasn't filming and I was like, I opened it for like two seconds and there's like, you see boost in there and I like look at him like, there's a shoe in here. Damn, we got all kinds of stuff. Your Supreme hat. I sent this back on the road, yeah. Supreme hat, wang bag. They wang? The book, the doobie picture. Oh, nice. I got another pair of those. I didn't realize. Socks, more pants, and another CS2. I didn't even know I had two pairs of the Ronins. That's amazing. It's pretty hot, dude. Oh. It's so heavy. There's no way. I guess it has a couple of books in it. Yeah, there's a ton of books in it. I'm okay, I'm fine. Oh. These houses be full of drama, they always with the extra. Okay. These houses wake up, they beg it. Big girl, they be six legs. These houses they wake up, they broke. They mattresses be on the floor. These houses they wake up, they mess it. They run in their mouth, they so petty. These houses they feed off attention. Zero time, that's what I give. I ain't like these houses. Like a penny to no one. 
Shit's hot. <laughs> Hair down, diamonds on, in the Pico. Fuck out of here, slug. Fuck it. Fire! Danielle Bergoli is spitting straight flames out here in these streets, boy. You gotta I'm gonna start make her, dating her. Dog. I'm gonna make. She's 15. I'm gonna make oh. a fucking. <laughs> I didn't I'm gonna, realize I don't watch yeah. enough internet. Chill, dirty urn. Uh, oh. I'm gonna make a fucking song called "These Bros," spelled the same way. You don't know about these bros? Oh don't prepare me to know why. We should, dude. Gotcha. Gotcha, big man. Hey, good man. Supposedly, it looked just like the trace paint. Trace paint. It almost looks there's... like gray. I don't think there's any pink in it. Like cement color. Yeah, this is literally bought yeah. for out of curiosity. Like, I'm like, Adidas, your photo fucking sucks. I need to see what the shoe looks like. Oh, crazy. Kind of hot. It's almost it's straight purple. Up just... Those are the khaki. I don't think you have the trace pink. Who the fuck are you talking <laughs> to right now? I mean, out here. Who the fuck ain't got the trace oh, pink? Right there. Fuck out of here, son. This is Sam and Breeze. <laughs> I made the trace pink. Shit, I got everything. Better stop playing games out here, son. Yeah, they don't look anything alike, but I can see how the photos make them look alike. Let me get a. Oh, that a straight up brown? Yeah. You'll have to get a closer look later. I don't even know what color that is like considered. It's like this. It's like a beige. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't beige know. and gray. It's like crage. 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 Omar. He's a good man. Take this motherfucker to support from everything else. This is where I store shit. And we didn't have the camera with us in a minute ago. Yeah. Walked out. They walked in. Once all hope had been given up, really the only reason we went down there is to left my phone in the car. And I can't live without my phone. Oh, I can't wait to see these. Shazam, motherfucker. They look kind of small. Oh. Hey, yo. Thank you. Bring it back. Hey, stop. They're a little tight. Oh, okay. All right, so today was a little scattered, uh, kind of just all over the place. It's a day before a drop, which is usually uh, a lot of running around, making sure everything is going according to plan and getting stock numbers, making sure every just, you know, it's a lot of work. And the drops keep getting bigger, and <laughs> more and more people are supporting, which is awesome. The channel is growing and we're just trying to keep up with everything. Um, and you know, now we have like full employees, so it's uh, a full-time thing and I just have to make sure everything's cool. And shout out to my team. One thing I don't say enough, I feel like, is uh, the team that helps with the merch, 10 of us at this point. So it's crazy, it's growing. Uh, shout out to the team, shout out to you guys for the support. Much appreciated, and you guys are doing more than just buying shirts, you're, uh, you're supporting a small business. So it's much appreciated and I love you for it. And the drop tomorrow, Saturday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, and that's noon in New York, 9 a.m. in L.A. So, rest of the world, you're gonna have to Google. Chicago, it's 11. Let's see, shoes that dropped, the laceless Ultra Boost dropped. I actually slept through it. Luckily enough, I had asked Earn to check them out anyway. So I said, yo, get them shoes. And this morning, my man got the shoes. So uh, the black pair and the green striped pair, or strapped pair, whichever you wanna call it, is are on the way. So those are on the way as well for next week, hopefully, um, along with a bunch of other stuff. All right, so as far as shoes, we got two pairs of shoes in today. Two pairs. Uh, let's see whatever this first pair ends up being is what we're talking about. This is the triple gray. I think I was calling it triple silver. It's more gray. This is the triple gray colorway. He's got here hella fast from overseas. These are actually a 12 and a half. So first thing I want to do is compare them to the zebras because right out of the box, I was like, these remind me of the zebes. Got the zebes vibes. Where the fuck are the zebras? Oh, that's a different color. In my mind, this is close to the same color, but one is definitely white and one is more of a gray base. And then this one has translucent cage, but they're kind of close. Triple gray ultra boost. Uh, you have an all gray upper, it's like a light gray upper at the base, and then you got dark gray, and even darker gray, and then black, digitally 3.0 peppered in. Uh, prominent upper completely, there's no mesh parts to the shoe. Uh, this one has a TPU plastic cage, 
a regular heel cup with regular heel cup with silver Ultra Boost branding. They're all silver now. I don't feel like they do gold at all. And it's two tone gray laces that match Adidas Performance branding. Uh, I had to take the insoles out because this is a 12 and a half. And to be honest, I know Adidas sizing is all over the place. This shit is tight. This is a 12 and a half and it's tight. I have other 12 and a halfs in 3.0 and they're fine. This runs a little more snug. I don't know why. I have no clue as to why it would be a little tighter, but I had to confirm. Sager got a pair today. I don't think he answered my text yet, but someone online asked me if I felt like they were tighter and they absolutely are. I don't know. These actually might go to Ernie and I might look for a 13, maybe even a 13 and a half. And then of course, this is a dark gray boost. It's not black. Instead of just look black, it's a little shade off. It's dark gray. Here's black boost to compare them next to each other, as you can see. A uh, regular black continental sole, and then a black torsion system, kind of boring there. Um, yeah, so this isn't, you know, this is a cool shoe, it's striking, I like the triple gray. These released very strangely, I would say, and I don't know if there's any restocks or what really is happening with the shoe, but they're out there. I wouldn't say it's a must cop, people are gonna like them. It's another colored boost shoe, which we get a little more rare, but again, people in 3.0, I think most are a little over it. This one's a little more vibey. You know, it's got a little more going on than some of the other releases as of late. Uh, I'm pretty sure they sold out pretty quickly. I don't know about resale. I'd imagine most Ultra Boost resale right now is under $300. It just seems like that's just kind of what it is. Yep, there it is. Triple gray Ultra Boost 3.0. So the other shoe that we got, which is called, finally learned, the Tech Earth. Uh, this colorway I got, showed earlier in the vlog, is I thought it was close to the Salmon Breeze Tech Pink. Is that what it's called? Tech Pink, is that what it's called? I can't remember, Salmon Breeze. The pictures, I could not tell what the shoe looked like. Um, I was just curious, I needed to know. And this is what the shoe looks like. So it's a completely different color. It has no pink in it whatsoever. Honestly, there's a ball in here. Omar, go get your ball. Um, there's honestly, it looks a lot like the new Beluga colorway to me. And then it kind of has the base. And then it kind of has this burgundy-ish magenta peppered into it. It's a very interesting colorway at first. I feel like I was kind of like, this is really plain. I don't really like it. They did this with this color and the gray color. I'm like, these are plain, but they're kind of like fall colors, you know? So I guess it makes sense. I'm looking for a little more excitement these days, I feel like, out of the shoes. I get a little weird about some of these regular colorways, but this one is growing on me because I like the way it looks on feet. I, at first, out of the box, I wasn't that impressed, but on feet, I really do like it. And the colorway is interesting. It's not just a regular colorway. First, I thought that it was uh, close to the French beige. I was gonna call this the French beige ultra boost. The color's not that similar, as you can tell. They're not really that close at all. 
uh, but this does have that kind of vapor gray vibe to it. It's just a little bit darker. So pretty much all the same features of the shoe we just discussed. Uh, only differences are your colorways. TPU cage is the same. Heel cup is the same. Boost is the same. And the torsion and continental sole is exactly the same. The laces are that same vapor grayish color with the magenta or burgundy peppered in. Just kind of a burgundy colorway. Once you get them in hand, that is definitely more of what they look like. I feel like a lot of people will probably pass on this. I feel like this one and the gray one that came out around the same time are just very simple, very muted. Just kind of the colors that if you wanted to match fall outfits, this is what you're going for. And I think maybe we're just getting a lot of colors like this lately. You know, it's like we're moving into a lot of earth tones, things like that. It even seems like Yeezys are starting to move into that direction. So it is what it is. I think I prefer um, some of the louder colorways. I don't know. I wore colors today. I think I'm just bugging. You know what I'm saying? I think I just like the colors today and I wore the Arizona States yesterday. And then when you like put these on, it's like these are just plain. But I get it for outfit purposes, but it's definitely not going to be a must cop for people. And it should absolutely have leather cages because if this shoe had leather cages, I would be in love with it. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense but I just wanted to have a leather cage, so. But yeah, that's the Tech Earth Ultra Boost. Let me know what you think, because uh, this is one that I feel like a lot of people are either gonna love or hate. That's it, peace.